It's the Coach's Corner Show, brought to you by WJER Sports in partnership with Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, Kempthorne Volkswagen, and Williams Floor Covering. Welcome into the Coach's Corner here, sponsored by WJER Radio. Willie Grove, along with Mike Johnson, head coach of the New Philadelphia Quakers. And coach, that consistency seems to be working pretty good for you guys. Three wins in a row. What are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, we're excited the, the way the team's been playing. The, the kids have done a great job. When you mentioned that consistency, that's that's defensively. They've been able to get after it. And uh, we had a six-quarter uh, six stretch with 11 takeaways, which is unbelievable. And, uh, and the offense has been able to move the ball, and it's been more consistent. And that's just – it gives everybody confidence. That's what you need at this time of the year. And, you know, I'm looking at uh, that defensive squad, and – there's some things you just can't teach kids. They just have a nose for the ball. And uh, you stand on the sidelines sometimes and you say, wow, where did that come from? Or you agree that you just can't coach some of that stuff. It just comes out. Well, it, it, some kids just have a natural ability where they're just football players. And we have a couple of them on our defense that are doing great with it. And, and you don't necessarily, maybe at the, the beginning of the season, you're hoping for it. You're not sure if they have it or not. And you see it early and you think, well, there's a chance they have it. And then to watch them play in games, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun because uh, some of these kids, they, they really do. And, and I think Dakota McCune has done a great job going after the ball. Uh, Jaden Bolts on defense is, does a great job tackling people. So we're seeing a lot, and that's just two of the 14 guys who play defense, but they're doing a wonderful job, and we're very, very happy they're on our side. So that is a recap of last Friday. Uh, coming up, uh, you travel to West Holmes, take on the Knights. They're undefeated. Probably going to have to have a lot of that uh, tackling ability come Friday night. Oh, without a doubt. When you look at, at West Holmes, they're a very good football team with a lot of really good players. Uh, and I think it starts with the running back. He is he's unbelievable. I think he, he had is. 300 and some yards yeah. and five touchdowns last week. So uh, you got to tackle him. You got to tackle him, and you got to end up trying to bottle him up. And and uh, and Coach Gardner and, and West Holmes does a good job of, of finding ways to get him the ball and, and get him loose. And, and he's just the start of it. Uh, quarterback is also very good. Uh, a couple of very good receivers, and and it all happens because they have a nice line. So offensively, I think they're averaging about 50 points per game. Uh, so so we're gonna have to try to slow that down. Tell me some of the things you're doing this week in practice to prepare the kids. I, well, we, we uh, watch a lot of film, watching film so they, they see and they know what's what to expect. Uh, and, and film study, I think, would be the, the number one thing. But then when we come out here, uh, identifying who is who, knowing who these these players are, uh, whether it's uh, the the wide receiver, the Maltrich kid, who's, who's very good, or... or uh, the uh, the Williams Dixon Williams who's who's excellent so it's you know we're, we're identifying who's who uh, usually it's easier to identify the quarterback but they you know just knowing where they are so you got an idea where that where to try to stop them well coach thanks for visiting with us today thanks for having us coach Mike Johnson of the Quakers and when we return we're going to pull in Trevor Bean and talk to him here in just a second and we are joined Trevor Bean a senior running back for the New Philadelphia Quakers and Trevor, first of all, congratulations. A great senior year so far. Uh, three wins in a row. Uh, talk to me about some of the things you do in practice that make you better. Uh, well, really, we've just been, uh, we've kind of implemented a new, uh, a new role where, you know, if we don't get the play right, we, we, don't, we, don't, uh, we don't skip it. We go back through it and we make sure we get everything right. So I feel like that's definitely helped us in practice on uh, just going forward, uh, just doing things right. Now, this past Friday, um, here at home, uh, third win in a row, like I said, did you, uh, did you experience any time where you thought, oh boy, i got to put this uh, thing on my back, I've got to start playing big time? Um, you know, what, what did you feel this past Friday? Uh, not really, to be honest. I feel like, you know, it's a team effort. You know, I, uh, all, all my uh, teammates and blockers, all the guys ahead of me really – I can really depend on them. So it's not really all on me, but I know I certainly got to do my part. Well, and you know what? I sit sometimes in the stands with uh, your mom, Lori. So uh, we're going to say hello to her. And uh, you got a couple big games coming up. Uh, you got to be ready for Friday night. That's West Holmes. We won't talk about week 10 yet. But tell me what you know about West Holmes and uh, some of the things you're doing to prepare for them. 
Um, they're a big, great team. They got a good running back. Um, they're they're undefeated, you know, so that that always tells you that they're a good team. But uh, they do that they do little things right, which is what we need to do in order to beat them. Trevor, thanks for visiting with us. Absolutely, and, and good you. luck. That's Trevor Bean of New Philadelphia, senior running back, and that's been the Coach's Corner Show here on WJER. This has been the Coach's Corner Show, a production of Claxon Communications for WJER Sports. Brought to you by Smartway Communications, Sugar Valley Meats, Kemp Thorne Volkswagen, and Williams Floor Covering.